This video will demonstrate the recommended process for setting up and installing your Dorner 3200 series center drive conveyor. Please refer to the service manual for more information on these steps. Upon receiving your Dorner conveyor, unpack all items and make sure all required parts are included. The required tools are four, five, and six millimeter hex wrenches, a level, and a torque wrench. The recommended installation sequence is as follows. Assemble the conveyor if required. For conveyors up to 13 feet, no assembly is required. For conveyors longer than 13 feet, refer to the manual. Attach the stands. Install return rollers if required. Mount the gear motor mounting package. Attach guides and accessories. The conveyor must be mounted straight, flat, and level within the confines of the conveyor. Use a level during setup. If needed, place temporary support stands at both ends of the conveyor. Insert the twist nut into the conveyor center slot. Make sure the twist nut rotates in the locked position while installing the mounting brackets. Fasten the mounting brackets to the conveyor with the mounting screws. Place your support stand and fasten the brackets to the stand with mounting screws, washers, and nuts. Tighten screws to 60 inch pounds. Next, install the gear motor by sliding it onto the drive shaft, ensuring the key is in place, as shown here. Install mounting screws through the torsion arm plate and tighten to 200 inch pounds. To attach the controller, place T-bars in the conveyor side slot. Attach the controller mounting bars to the T-bars and tighten screws. Next, if required, we'll adjust the conveyor belt tracking. With the cam fastening screws on both sides of the conveyor loosened, Adjust the cams until the indicator arrows are horizontal and pointing towards the center of the conveyor. Then slide the cam assemblies against the head plates and tighten the cam fastening screws. On the side toward which the belt is tracking, loosen the head plate fastening screws. Now, with the conveyor running, not pictured, use a 5mm hex wrench to rotate the tracking cam in small increments until the belt tracks in the center of the conveyor. Then, retighten the head plate fastening screws with a 6mm hex key wrench to 60 inch pounds. Next, we'll adjust the tracking of the center drive module. V guided belts do not require tracking adjustment. If a non-V-guided belt needs tracking, make adjustments on the side which the belt is tracking towards. First, ensure the cam is installed against the drive plate. All four center drive fastening screws should be loosened. While the conveyor is running, rotate the tracking cam in small increments until the conveyor belt is tracking normally. Then, retighten the fastening screws. To tension the belt, turn the knurled knob on each side of the conveyor drive clockwise until the tensioning spring is exposed only a half inch. Now your conveyor is ready to run. Thanks for setting up your conveyor with us. For more information, please consult the manual.